Hi, this is Mark, and this is the Me Techie channel on YouTube. If you want to learn more about technology and things related specifically to Macintosh, uh, we focus mostly on three main programs Snagit, which is a screen capture program, ScreenFlow, which is a screen casting capture program, and that's what I'm using now to do this video, and then finally Keynote, which is a great uh, tool for infographics and basic business animation. So let's talk about Dropbox today and specifically something called Showcase. So if you've heard of Showcase, then give yourself a pat on the back because you are a techie. Uh, very few people have heard about it, know anything about it. I've talked to a lot of my technology buddies and you tell them, have you heard of Dropbox Showcase? And they say, no, can't say that I have. Tell me what it is. So that's what this video is all about. And by the end of it, not only will you know what it is and what is good about it and what's important about it, you'll know how to obtain it and you'll know how to actually create your first Dropbox showcase. So let's begin. First, what is it and what do you need to do to get it? I happen to be on a page here called dropbox.com forward slash individuals forward slash plans dash comparison because uh, most of you who have Dropbox, um, lo the large part of you, I would assume, <clears throat> excuse me, are using the basic free version. And there's some great features from Dropbox but unfortunately, Showcase, which is down here, you can't get that with a basic free. You can't even get it with the plus. You actually have to go all the way up to professional. And you're going to be talking $16.58, $16.58 per month. Uh, this is U.S. Uh, in order to get the professional Dropbox account. I've been using plus for several years uh, because I outgrew the, the features of basic. And um, I upgraded to professional recently within the year because not because of um, showcase but because of this great gem here called smart sync which is just you know it'll blow your hair back beyond uh, beyond words what this can do and how awesome that is how it's really changed my world and we'll have another video on smart sync but for now this is the showcase video so let's quickly read about this this is share your work and customize branding, visual previews, and information captions. Track who opens, downloads, and comments on your files. Let's just go and look at this in a second. All right, so th that's the individual Dropbox account. You're going to need at least a professional. And then if you look at the business account, if you happen to be the proud owner of Dropbox Business, and for you and your employees, if you're a business owner or if you just happen to be an employee who um, who's part of that club, and you're using Dropbox for business, you actually have to um, go all the way to the advanced version. So standard won't cut it. Uh, if I look down here, look for showcase, do a command F for the word show. I've already done it here. Showcase, you can see here, boom, standard isn't going to cut it. You're going to need all the way to advanced, or you can um, take advantage of it in, at the enterprise level. So now you know about how to get it and what it takes to get it. You know a little bit about what it is, but I really haven't showed you it. So I think the best way to understand what it is is to show it to you. Okay, first you wanna log into your Dropbox and locate the showcase option here on the left, which will appear if you have the right version of Dropbox installed, the version that we talked about that requires, uh, that, that is required for showcase. Now, to create a showcase, it's real simple. You just click on the Create Showcase button and you'll get some options. The first option is to add a logo. So let's go ahead and add a new logo. I've got one here stored on my computer. This happens to be the Productive Computing 20th Anniversary Silver Edition logo that we have. So I'll add that in there. Then I can give it a title. This is going to be called FileMaker Workplace Innovation Platform. And this is Mark from Productive Computing showing the world about the FileMaker Workplace Innovation Platform. So I can just say, uh, have a look at our, uh, have a look at FileMaker's new offering. There. And then you can actually add files. So I'll click on this button here to upload a file. And in this case, I want to upload a video, which is a predefined video that I recorded earlier. And that is going to upload to my showcase. And now, what is showcase? It's basically a dedicated web page with various multimedia offerings that's highly customizable and editable. And you don't have to go through the rigors of, let's say, creating a YouTube channel or a YouTube video and then putting it on YouTube and then or Facebook or any other web platform. You don't have to make your own website, create a web server, and then throw the web page somewhere 
This is an instant website that can be viewed by the people that you share the link with. Let's add one more thing to it here. I'll go and add a PDF document, and you'll notice that the PDF now snuggles right next to the video, and you can change the orientation of these, and you can switch out the media. You can even do things like, um, or overview video. You can name it. You can actually write a caption. This video shows Mark explaining dot, dot, dot. And then you have a PDF here with the same thing. You can change the, the title of that PDF as well as the caption below it. And if you click on this and you can see, I can orient it left so that the whole thing is one on top of the other. Or I can spread one like this so that it takes up the whole width of the page. So there's all kinds of orientations that you can do. Then there's a preview button up here, which allows you to see what would this web page look like if it was viewed through a computer or a tablet. That's what it looks like on a tablet. You can see scrolling is introduced. And then on a phone, of course, it's a lot thinner there and scrolling is there. So those are the preview options there for showcase. And then over here are your analytics. And you can see how many people in general visited, how many views, how many comments, and how many downloads. And then if that weren't enough, you can click on this files allocation here and it will show you how many views per file element. So how many views on the video versus how many views on the workplace in, in workplace innovation platform PDF, how many comments and how many people downloaded. Downloaded is different than views. Views would be just clicking and viewing it. Download would be to actively download it and keep that file with them. So those are some interesting things. And then you can even filter if your showcase had a lot of files to offer because this can literally just go on for, um, you know, eons in terms of how much data you put on a particular individual showcase page. Then you have this option here, which is to download the uh, entire page as a PDF, I assume. Let me just throw this here. I can't see what the extension is. No, it's a zip file. So if you download your workplace, uh, your showcase rather, and let's take a look at what that looks like. Where is that file? Here it is. Here's my zip file. And if you open that up, you'll see that it has um, the different files that were part of that showcase. So you can almost take it with you like a briefcase, say, okay, I'm gonna take everything that I uploaded, download it and use it in other ways or just have it for archive purposes. So that's that option. And then this final option here, which is to make a copy. So let's say you created a uh, showcase that you really liked and you wanted to copy it to make it either for another customer or for another group but it was mostly similar. It's almost like a duplicate. You can make a copy of it. Obviously you can delete it and you can read more about it here with the about uh, showcase. And then the final option that I'm showing you here um, is right here under share. So you can either share it directly through email and Dropbox will email those people and it'll go from there or you can search through your Google contacts or what I use most is just copy a link. So if you copy that link, here's your link. You can even customize the link here to some extent. Uh, the link is publicly accessible by anyone and you have actual settings here that you can say anyone with a link can do it or only people invited to the showcase. And then you can allow downloads or not allow downloads. So those are some nice features there. And so what I do is I copy that link and then I email a person or a group of people based on that link and say, here, check out this customized message. And then when they go here, it's like, this was made for them. It's got your branding, your main message. It's got all the media that you want to present on a page, and then you can track analytics from that. So it's a really unique offering. I don't know if there's anything quite like it. And of course, it's created by a world-class uh, name brand that we all know, which is Dropbox. So this is Dropbox Showcase. I hope you learned something from that and perhaps you can use it. And let me just tell you that in every case that I've sent a dedicated Dropbox Showcase message, in every case, it's met with enthusiasm, excitement. People are pretty, pretty impressed that they have a message geared directly to them. Um, so overall, it's just a great way to deliver messages. I mean, what are your choices these days? You can send them to your Facebook page, but then you get watered down with comments and all the other things that are happening on your Facebook page. You could send them to your YouTube channel, but then they watch your video and then they go right into some other random video that has nothing to do with the message you're trying to focus them on. 
Uh, you could send them to your own web page, but your own web pages can't be changed on the fly as easily as this in such a ready, ready-made fashion. And then to track analytics on your own web page, you've got to either sift through Google Analytics and dig into just that page. This is just so, so targeted, so straightforward. So that's that really showcases actually a really good name for for the product offering. So I hope you learned some things there and learned more about what Dropbox Showcase is. Uh, I wanted to learn what it was. I learned it, then I uh, started using it, and I tell you, I am benefiting to some extent by having this tool in my tool chest. Hope you enjoy.